gradients just keep getting better and better on Canva. They've been slowly introducing more and more features. So in this video, we're going to look at a few unexpected ways to use gradients in Canva. All right, so let's take a look at some interesting things that you can do with gradients in Canva. So let's grab a new page. All right, so first of all, let's say that we've got an image that we want to put text on. So let's put our image in the page. And let's say we want to add some text here. So grab some text. Now, as you can see, this text is hard to read just putting it on the image like this. Now we could change the color maybe but it's still not the best because the image behind has a lot of contrast. You'll see that there's all these shadows and so there's a lot of contrast in there which can make a text harder to read. So instead of having to just remove the bottom and put your text under, if you still want this full page, what you can do is utilize gradients and I'll show you how. So what we do is go to elements and we're going to choose a square. We're going to put this in behind our text. Now we're going to go to color and you're going to choose this rainbow and choose gradient. Now you're going to choose is the color that you want to start at the bottom. So let's say we want a color that's similar to this. So we can always grab this little dropper here and we can pick out a color. Then we can go over to this second one and we want to bring it right down to transparent. Now you want to turn it around. So you want this second one here. Now you'll notice that it's starting at the top rather than the bottom. So if that happens, you can just drag and put that one on that side like that. So now this one's on the other side and it's there. Now we can do is move it so that we've got enough. So basically you just want to resize it until it feels just right. So think about how much space you want for your text there. And now look at that. Now our text is much more readable and you've still got that full page image. And you're not having to put just a big block of color. It's nice and subtle. So a really lovely way that you can use gradients is using that transparent. So going from a color to transparent. Now, another thing we can do with gradients is use gradient borders. So this can be for our shape. So I've grabbed a shape here and also for frames and photos. So if we've got a frame here, we want to put something in a circle. We can go get a photo. Now, if we want to put a gradient border around that, we just choose here border style. We're going to put it up to whatever size you want. Then you're going to click here border color and click on this rainbow again and gradient. Now you can choose your two colors. So decide what two colors you want to use. See there we've got a nice gradient border and you can see here on the styles, you can decide which angle you want it to go at by playing around with them. So once you've got one you're happy with, let go and there you have it. So you've got a nice gradient border on an image. And you can also do this with just any shape as well. So again, we just add the border, go to border color, choose gradient, choose our two colors. And of course with the shape, you can also choose the inside color. Or if you just want an outline that is a gradient and nothing in it, you can choose here no color for inside and you've just got this nice gradient outline. So that can be a really fun way to use gradients as well. Now, our final thing that we're going to try out with gradients is gradient text. So in Canva, if you go here to apps, you can search and you can look up gradient text. You can search and look up type gradient. So you get this thing that says type gradient. So what you do is you put in your text of so what you want it to say. Then you choose your font. Now, when it comes to a gradient, usually a thicker font is going to be more impactful, but obviously it also depends on your brand. So you can always try out different things too and see what looks good. If you wanted to start with something like this, that's a little bit thinner. You can always try that. And if you feel like it needs to be a bit more impactful, you can always then go back and choose a different font. So once you've chosen your font, then you can also play with line height. So if you put this on several lines, so let's put this over two lines. You can also change your line height for how close they are to each other. And now you're going to play with your gradient. So if you've got things over two lines, the gradient is going to go across those lines. So do keep that in mind as well. So now we've got our gradient here. So we can click on each little dot here and choose a color. So here we might choose this. And you can see too, you can move the dots along. So if you want to move how much of each color is in certain areas, you can also click and add new dots. So if you want to add even more colors in, you can do that. And if you want to merge two together, you just put it on top of each other to merge them. 
So once you've got your gradient, you're quite happy with that. Next thing you can do is move it around in the actual text. So you've got this here and you just move it around for how you want it to sit across your text. So you can make it go further out, shrink it, move everything around. So really position it how you want it to look on your text. So once you are happy with it, you've got that gradient right. So make sure you've got it correct. Then press add to design. And there you have it. Now, if you go back and try and change things, it's not going to change the one over here. You'd have to add it in again. So do spend your time over here getting that right before you add it into your design. So I hope these inspire you to have a bit of fun with gradients in Canva. So have fun playing around with gradients in Canva. And if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.